Hello there, Master Alish here, and welcome to episode 21 of my Open TTD Let's Play series 10. Uh, we're doing good. Things are generally okay. Now, the city building challenge we kind of failed with doing the perfect run. But, you know what? The city's growing sometimes and we're doing okay. And if you want to see how well you can do, you can go to masterhellish.net forward slash S10 and you will be able to play along as well on the same map. Now, last time over in OpenTTD, uh, we made these uh, routes here for starting to get vehicles going. You can see that we've got our vehicle uh, assembly plant uh, over here. But we haven't quite finished it, and we need to finish that off and start getting vehicles ready to ship to the hellish city. Now, I have gone around since the live stream and renamed all the stations so that we know what the stations are for. So, for example, uh, we've got wire rod in on this side and wire rod out on that side. I feel this really helps for actually um, seeing what's going where. Now these ones are a bit weird if you didn't see the live stream. These platforms are set up in groups of two. One platform is a drop off and another platform is a pick up. The idea is that the train comes in the input, so that's uh, just down here behind my head, and it comes into one of the three platforms, drops zinc off, goes to the depot, refits, come back out, and picks up the pipe and um, we've got two of these lines with the same thing at either end because they're feedbacks they're, they're loopy bits so we'll be getting them up and going but uh, what we need to do is unpause the game because we have 5,000 in the bank account so over here at hellish city we'll unpause the game you can see that um, we uh, supplied last month and we, we the town grew and uh, we're doing pretty well for things like cast iron and sodium hydroxide now. Whether that was just a good month or not, I don't know. But we did a few episodes ago make a load of improvements. And I'm kind of hoping that those improvements are starting to come through the system now. Now we're not seeing any new deliveries here just yet. But we have got a train that's 91% ready to leave here. And it looks like we've got a delivery of the i think that's cast iron just being dropped off and another one coming in there so hopefully that's all good now you can see our lines are making lots of profits if we go to the operating profit graph we've been going up uh, well on average going up um over the last few months and years which is really good and in the time that's taken me to say this we've now made a million pounds so we're going to let that go up a little bit more uh, it's the 1st of October just gone, so we can have a look at the goals here, and you can see that we didn't grow again, and we have the problem where sodium hydroxide was not delivered. Uh, so we do need more sodium hydroxide, we need more places coming in, delivering that. We've got a few lines down here, you see we've got a couple of trains leaving this particular location down here where we've had deliveries coming in see look we've got more trains coming with more deliveries hopefully we can get these um up and enhanced in the future but we're just going to get let that run for a little bit and we've got two million in the bank now so we'll pause the game and we'll have a look it's, it's the middle of october and hellish city did a tiny bit of growing but we're still just under the eight thousand mark now if we have a look at the storybook and the requirements you can see that 8,000 in population is the electrical parts. Well, we've done that already with this little silly boat set up, so we're ready for that. And then after that, at 10,000, yes, there's nothing for nine, vehicles are required. And that's what we're working on, isn't it? So we've got two million in the bank to finish this line and then get the vehicle deliveries ready. Now we've dug through this hill and we've got uh, a little bit of path, uh, sorry, not path, track over here. I think I've been playing too much theme park path. Me and my daughter played a little bit of theme park at the weekend. Um, we actually played it on the PS3 um, using the living room TV, which uh, was which was cool. It was good to do that. So I'm going to cut a little channel down here. Ah, look, there's an industry in the way. Uh, if I hold Shift, that won't do anything. Uh, let yeah, we're going to have to try and go past the edge of this industry, which is not exactly what oh. Yeah, that, that's not good. That's not in the right place at all. What happened there? Did I just drag it incorrectly? Let's try again. So, from the edge of the industry... Yeah, I must have just messed that up. Sorry! 
There we are. Ah, that's better. Okie dokie. Yes, so he's using the PlayStation 3 to play um, Theme Park on the TV. I would love to do those sorts of games. It's um, going back and revisiting the games that I used to play that I think that people would be interested in on various different platforms would be a nice little series to do, or at least a special video or something. Uh, speaking of special videos, I actually have a special video planned, and in that special video I'm going to look over some of my highlights. He says, blowing up everything. Um, if you have a favourite moment, uh, a hellish highlight for from anywhere over the last 10 years, I would love it if you'd come over to the Discord and post it in the... Um, in the general forum. We have a general forum and there's a post that's pinned at the top of the forum right now. It says, what is your favorite hellish, favorite hellish moment? Okay, and if your favorite hellish moment is a fantastic one, then it's likely it's going to get added to the list and potentially featured in that video. Okay, so I don't like this sharp corner here. I'm gonna try and improve this. Uh, we've got the time and money to do it because the game is paused, so that's good. This building, whilst paused, has advantages and disadvantages. It's, it takes some, not all, but some of the challenge away from the game. Uh, those of you who know my content know that I do prefer it when the challenge is left in the game. Look at that, that's a length 9 diagonal there. Not really happy about that being a length 9 diagonal, so we'll just extend this a little bit. Right, what we're looking at now. 16. That's much better. Um, I, I don't like it when my games are too easy. Uh, if a game is too easy, then I I either lose interest or I don't feel the reward. There we go. That's, that's better. I mean, it, it's a little bit quirky, but and this bit here is 12 in length, but that's okay. That's okay. That'll work. It's actually much better than it was, even though it's not perfect. Now we do need some depots on this line, that is for sure. I don't know where we can fit them, maybe somewhere around here might be nice. And then maybe somewhere over here, so we go either end of this long straight. Probably a good idea. Would you like it if I added depots between episodes rather than in the episodes? So that like, when we get to the next episode I can go, ta-da, I added these depots. Or would you like to see me do it in the in the in the actual videos and streams? Let me know in the comments. Pop it down in the comments. Let me know what you think about that. Okay, so we've got tires in now all connected up. Let's get rid of this P. We don't need this P here. We've got this tires in. Uh, we're gonna have to do vehicles out. Uh, we've got tires out. So the only thing we're really missing now is the trains. But what I'd like to do is then get the delivery of the vehicles sorted. Okay, so we're gonna have several things coming in here. In fact, Three, four different things coming in and vehicles coming out. So let's get a nice ISR station. Hmm. See, I used high security stations for the for the tires. I don't know why. It's a silly thing to do, potentially. Let's just use good stations uh, for the output. Now, I'm going to try and put the stations going in along these sides and the output in the middle here. We might have to do some spread stations to fit everything in, but we'll see. So for this one, I'm going to start off with a four track, four track row row. Yeah, we'll do the same as what we've been doing down here with our four track row rows. And you can see it accepts, did it say it accepts vehicles? Oh, vehicle engines, yes. And we'll see we'll see how much more we need to expand in the future. I've got a feeling we might be okay. We might need to double up the line. But let's just go with a standard bit here. Now because it's a row row station, we do need a signal on the end of that platform. Otherwise incoming trains will see the entire station as one signal block. Uh, no, no signal there, thank you. Signal here. Oh my goodness, why are my keyboard, key binds, why am I, oh it's because I'm pressing signal. There we go. I think I've been, oh no, I just got rid of the signal with the depot. Oh, I think I need a break. I've been coding all morning. 
and uh, well, that's it really. I've just been coding all morning. <laughs> What was I doing last night? Oh, it was parents' evening last night and the live stream. So these videos that you're watching on a Saturday, I nearly always record the day after the live stream in my lunch break. So our live streams on, are on a Tuesday. I normally try and record them on the Wednesday lunch. And the main reason for that is to give me time to make sure that they're then edited and they're uploaded in time and scheduled in time for the Saturday. Um, it gives me a couple of days grace in case I need to make any changes or in case anything goes wrong. Also, I don't want to have to worry about it last minute. I want to get it done, I want to get it sorted, I want to get it uploaded. Also, also, after the live stream, I've got a better recollection of what I was in the middle of doing if I record the next thing quickly. That's one of the reasons um, that some people record in batches, and I, I do sometimes. Let's bring these two lines together. Um, recording in batches does have the advantage that you've got that continuity of knowing what you are working on and doing a good job of, of then carrying that on and carrying the pace and stuff. Okay, so these vehicles are going to have to cross this void of water. So if we look at the map and we get rid of the town names because it's ridiculous, you can see that over here in the uh, no train zone, we've got our towns with buses and we've got some boats and we've got an airport going between these locations here. I don't know how easy it is to see on the recording. And then over here in the preservation lands, we've got our preservation network, which we will go back to and work on. We will have some episodes doing that when we've got some spare cash. And down here is the vehicle network, of course. But we've got to get the vehicles across this kind of section here and over into the hellish city. And it's I think it's going to be difficult to work out where to go. We're going to have to cross the water at a more narrow point. We don't want to kind of go from over here across this long bit and into that bit. I think the crossing should be as narrow as possible. So if we work on the crossing first, then do each end and then connect it up. That sounds like a good idea to me. I say then do each end. We've actually got each end already. So this is the... Um, this is one end where the vehicles are going to be... So that this is actually vehicles out. Okay, so it's going to be coming from this assembly plant, um, which is where the vehicles are going to be coming out. Now, we're also going to be getting engineering supply... Oh, I've got caps lock on for some reason. There we go. Uh, yeah, this is where we're going to be getting the engineering supplies out. Um, vehicles out as well. But we'll, we'll deal with that later. So there's vehicles... Did I spell that right? vehicles let's compare it to this yeah looks like it it's, some words just look weird to me and I, I can't deal with it um and here is this is vehicles in i don't think we've we give these funny names no i i kind of want to change the name of some of these especially the ones that are to do with specific resources so heli city exchange is going to be vehicles in like that oh my goodness i did not spell that correctly at all i did not look we can use it as a comparison here vehicles i know there was a h but we missed the e and then i put an a in it and missed another e there you go. and it's not in it's out no it is in it's in it's out shake it all about there we go right so we got vehicles out already uh, we did that just now. We've got vehicles in. That's been here since we've been planning this city a, a long time ago. We now need to do the crossing. And I think it really just makes sense to put the crossing between these two towns and straight across there, kind of like this. Oh, then we're going to hit another town on the other side. Of course we are. Okay. Ooh, good look, there's a quarry here and a wharf in the way. Would be nice to kind of hit this bit, but then we've got this kind of dimple bit in here you know what we're gonna do that we're gonna we're gonna come in there and we're gonna then probably dog leg or something i'm, I'm not quite sure because we've got another we've got an oxygen furnace here in the way and several industries so we'll just come into this water area so we're going to take our primary point as this now I've got a feeling we might be delivering a lot on this line, and I've got a feeling we're going to end up doubling up this line. Now, if we ever double up the line, what we need to do is, because we'll have an up line and a down line, so we'll, like, things will be going one way and other things will be going the other, 
what you don't want to then do is like put the next line next to it like this because then you have up down up down which can be very difficult for making junctions and getting things into stations you have to swap lanes over and get tracks to cross uh, I think what we would then do is we just come in and put another line going this way and then another line going that way in the future so when we're building this line we need to make sure that we've got enough space around it in case we want to do that upgrade I think there's probably like a 30 to 50 percent chance we'll need to do the upgrade in future now to get across here we're going to need bridges but I'm not going to just bridge across um, massive amounts I think let's try and keep it straight we'll put one nodule there and then I'm just using my finger actually on the on the monitor to kind of roughly space these out evenly. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Probably isn't. Um, and it might... You know what I should do is I should just keep something on the screen and move it. So like, there is that. And then if I line that one up... My goodness. I wish you could see this. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. I, I, have I got some tape? Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Let's get some tape on the screen. I've just I've just ripped it and it's not the right amount. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what I'll do is I will get a piece of tape and I'll put that on the corner of the land there. And I'll put a piece of tape and I'll put that on the corner of the land there. And I'll take a picture and I'll superimpose it in the edit. Little tiny pieces of masking tape. You probably won't even see it very well. And then I will move the screen so that I'm measuring the same gaps. Oh, there we go. So I can see that I actually got that in the wrong place. There we go. So we're going from the end of one. Oh, this, this works out really nice. There we go. End of one to the end of the other. Now, instead of sticking tape to my screen, I could have got some sort of maybe measuring overlay. I know you can get like virtual virtual rulers and stuff that people use when they're like designing websites and all that sort of thing. Like you can measure pixels on the screen and all that sort of thing. This isn't costing a ridiculous amount of money, but it's also not cheap. So... How far have we got to go across this thing? It's a relatively large expanse. There we go. Haha. <laughs> this is this is a good way of doing it, saving any sort of counting or anything. My monitor needs cleaning it cleaning anyway. Uh oh no 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 uh, no what? Not enough cash! Oh, we've ran out of cash. Okay, how far across Oh we nearly got all the way across. We do need to get rid of this bump. There we go, got rid of that. And the only problem is if I zoom in and out, then the zoom settings means um, that the spacing that no longer works. But we've got enough money. City is growing. I did that one wrong, but I'll counteract for it there. There we go. We've nearly got all the way. This is, this is quite satisfying, actually, lining these bits up on my screen there we go I think we're just gonna go all the way across this little bit here because I don't want to like change the angle and go into an industry that actually lines up really well there so if we take that little bit off there and then fix this one Ooh, hang on just make sure I get the right bit is that it so I accidentally went a bit overboard did I yes there we go Fantastic. Okay, now I've got to put all the bridges in. So let's take those bits of masking tape off my monitor. I I did I barely pressed them on the screen. Like they were barely hanging on. I do not advise it. Don't stick stuff to your screen. It's a ridiculous thing to do. Okay, uh, bridges. 
So we're going to need the fastest bridge possible because, like, as the trains get quicker, uh, it's worth it. So, we, and the bridges are currently transparent. And remember, when you build a bridge, you can hold control to just build the same bridge again. So all of these I'm building without them popping up. See, it looks like I've got length... Oh, that one's length 9, that one's length 10. Oh, oh did I mess up? What we're going to do is we're going to pretend that it's fine, even if it's not. It pro Does see, look, that one says length 9. These are all length 9. Maybe I just, like, had my cursor here where the 10 was being displayed. I didn't see it. There we go. Holding control to build just the same bridge. Money is going down. These bridges are costing me 37 grand each. The bridges of bridges. Like, so many bridges. I suppose this is going to have to be in the thumbnail, isn't it? Bridges all the way down. There we go. Oh, we ran out of money again. My goodness. It's a good job that... Oh, we're in the negatives. I was about to say, it's a good job the money comes in quite quickly. It's actually nearly the end of November. Before we get to the end of November, let's just check. Yeah, the town didn't grow again. Looks like we've pretty much cracked cast iron. Looks like the improvements for cast iron seems to have worked. We've had a couple of good months for that now. Let's see what happens when we get to the beginning of December. There we go. We're almost there with the bridges. New coal mines are under construction. We need to keep an eye out for that, actually. If there's any new primary industries around the city, then that's going to be really good. We can take advantage of that. Okay. There we go. Some nice grey steel, potentially steel bridges across the water. Uh, we're in December now, so let's have a quick look at the situation. Yep, we grew again. And we're actually, I think we're just starting the cast iron to actually build up. When we do get a delivery of sodium hydroxide, we do get enough. So hopefully in the next few months that'll be okay. So there we go, folks. We have crossed the expanse with our first set of bridges. Now, why have I used bridges? Why have I not just gone along and just... Uh, like a big land bridge across. Well, there's two reasons for that. One, it would be very expensive in comparison to doing the bridges. Uh, unless you use the technique where you delete the water, that would probably make it cheap. Or at least cheaper. Uh, and then the other reason is is that I want... What, why am I redoing those bits? Oh, it's because my mouse cursor jumped. Still haven't worked out what this scrolling thing issue is. It's like some sort of mouse acceleration kicks in. It throws my screen miles away. But yes, I will also want boats to be able to go under the bridges here. I don't want to cut myself off for future future uh, expansions and so forth. Okie dokie. So if I put signals here, is this going to place it nicely all the way across? does appear to have placed it nicely all the way across. Brilliant! Okay, so we have the bridge across the expanse. We have the vehicles out uh, there, so we'll, we'll need to come up across the land and connect up to here. And then on the other side of the bridge, we've got to connect up to the city. So we'll have this station that we'll finish off and put out there. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that now. And for this design, I'm going to use. I mean, I, we're going to use the same design as this. Probably terminus over here, maybe. Oh, which which terminus? Tell you what, we'll use the same as Hellish City North because um, it works. It's quick and easy and simple. What we do is we divide the six platforms up into three groups of two. And then for each of those uh, three groups... Uh, oh, it's got bridges on it. Oh, I don't want bridges on it. You know what? We'll have bridges on it. Why not? 
it's it's not going to completely kill the situation. Um, then we need a length of five to track in total here. And these are where the trains are going to come in. And then we want to be able to have the trains go out again. And we also want to have some depots. So uh, we're going to go under here and under there. Right. Oh, under all. Right. So the way that I did it with that one. We need to get rid of. I don't know about that one. Probably these ones at least. Put our little tiny bridges in here. here little steel girded bridges. There's our tunnels so we can get out. So I guess like this. Getting the double depots in there. Remove the forbidden bit of track that can cause trains to get stuck if they get lost. And then the little down nodes here. So that our tunnels can come out. Bit of track. And connect all of these together. So try and get a length 12 in here. I think this will do the job. Um, if it doesn't, like I say, we, we can come back and do some improvements. There we go. Uh, a signal for the entrance. And there's our entrance and exit. Now the only problem now is, is that I've got to then connect that up down here. So somehow we've got to go across this. And I think what we'll do is we'll change this one to be a little bit different. So we'll have the output come across like this. So we're outputting there and we're coming to here. So that the lines are together and then we can go across this bit. Again, we're going to use tunnels. I actually need to unpause for a second to get this train out of the way. Uh, is that as much? Uh, enough? I think that's enough. There we go. Tunnels here. Little tunnels on a line like that don't really cause a problem. Tunnels can... Uh, affect the acceleration of trains but if your train's already going at a good speed then there's no point those tunnels look weird with the explosions inside of them there we go so once we've got a length of 12 out of this at least which we have we then need to turn a corner and there is our corner now, bearing in mind that I said that we may need to double up this line, and this is going to be the difficult end to double up, but perhaps we'll have it split off and go into a separate or a different um, set of platforms. We've got this old line here, which I put in, and it was for something that it turned out we didn't need. Uh, so we'll get rid of that. Originally, I was going to keep it as a reminder or use it for something else, but to be honest, we'll just get rid of it. Because it is in the way. There we go. Get rid of that station. And also purchase this land again. There we go. And there we are. We now have uh, the stations at either end of the vehicles line in. So we've got the vehicles in here at Hellish City. We've turned a corner and we're heading down towards the coast. And at the coast, we've got our bridges that go across the water expanse. And then that will go down and connect up to vehicles out. So what I'm going to do now is between now and the live stream, I will just connect those three sections up with some track. It's going to be pretty straightforward. And I think I'll probably pop those depots in there as well. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see me do skip little bits and say, oh, I'll do that between episodes, or whether you want to see everything. Put all those thoughts, ideas, and questions down in the comments section like you all do always. It's fantastic to see them all, and I try and reply to as many as possible. But that's going to be all from me for today. Thank you very much for watching. I think we've got a pretty cool network coming along here. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I hope you are too. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, folks.